up guys? Chris VA Travels. Got up nice and early to uh, check out the Prince Edward County Courthouse here in the little town of Farmville, Virginia. Kind of right in the middle of the state. And uh, yeah, I'm down here for a couple days checking out some sites. And I always like to drop off, check out the local courthouse. It's always right in the heart of town. And to real quick tell you a little bit about Farmville. It was a uh, town established back in 1798. A uh, little town that had developed here on the headwaters of the Appomattox River. Took a growth spurt when the uh, Southside Railroad ran through and uh, became the county seat of Prince Edward in, uh, let's see, it was 1871. Yeah, so. And yeah, walking through, you'll see giant tobacco warehouses everywhere. That was the main industry in town. And yeah, Hampton, Sydney, and Longwood Colleges are both here. That's a pretty cool building right there. Dwayne, the it says. to give you some history on Prince Edward, Prince Edward County. It was established 1754, broke off from Amelia County. And it is named after Prince Edward, who was the second son of Prince Frederick, uh, who was the father of King George, King George III of the American Revolution. And Prince Frederick is who Fredericksburg, Virginia is named after. Yeah, a bunch of antique stores uh, all around. Huh, what building is this? This almost looks like it would be the uh, the courthouse. Cool ionic columns on that thing. But yeah, here it is. It almost looks like a high school. <laughs> Prince Edward County Courthouse. And uh, this is uh, in the neoclassical design. Although the body of it is built with brick. And you'll see a big stone portico impediment on the front, Tuscan columns. Let me see if I can cross, yeah. All right, that cupola kind of looks out of place on, on this type of building. And there are two urns flanking the uh, the cupola. Uh, can't really see them now, but uh, yeah, big old bell in there. So, and I'm looking, okay, I think I see a, a marker over here. But, okay, usually there are a bunch of war. Okay, here we are over here. I was gonna say, you've always got your war memorials and, and everything. So, yeah, lots of old buildings all around. Uh, most are empty though, sadly. Yeah, that law office building says empty. Yeah, for rent, that building looks empty. Okay, the men and women of Prince uh, Edward County who served their country. Okay, Air Forces uh, since World War II. All right, Korean War, Vietnam, and Iraq. Iraqi, hmm, oh, Iraq Operation, Iraqi Freedom. All right. Okay, World War One. quite a few. Oh, sorry guys, if I'm shivering. <laughs> Colder out this morning than uh, I had expected. All right. Oh yeah, of course, World War Two right there. And I've got some relatives from Prince Edward County who served. And uh, actually, oh, here it is. This right here is my great uncle, my grandmother's brother, William Simple Weaver. Yeah, he died in uh, uh, Manila in the Philippines. Uh, he worked a radio on an aircraft and it crashed. Yeah. And actually, they had lost contact. The body was never found. The plane was never found. That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, that he's on there cool all right well i'm definitely uh glad glad i came all right let me just uh get my shoes wet and walk up here oh okay yeah one of these capsules oh wow yeah it's not gonna be open open for a while but uh pretty cool okay let me go over and see this plaque Yeah, another cool pediment, top of the door. 
little uh, kind of dental molding uh, all around. These cameras. <laughs> and okay, just see you know, a water fountain place to place to hang out. What does this say? Now, therefore, it be resolved. I want to find out what this building is. Was this the older courthouse? Okay, so you can see the urns all around the cupola. There's four of them actually. But oh, oh yeah, the, this building was built 1939 and it was to re replace the original building that was built in 1872. So that's right around the time that uh, Farmville became the county seat. And I'm wondering if this was that building. Oh yeah, Farmville Baptist Church. Yeah, big old fluted columns. Yeah, the crown with the uh, skimosi little scrolls at the top. Pretty neat. But uh, cool little keystones all around those arched, uh, those tall arched windows there. But yeah, let me see what this says. Okay, the light of reconciliation illuminated by the courthouse bell tower, 2008. Okay, so this is talking about, yeah, the Moton. There's a Moton Museum. Uh, this is kind of uh, here in town I need to get to. Uh, it was kind of the birthplace of the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, public schools were closed for five years here in Prince Edward County, starting in 1959. How crazy is that? Uh, I know that there were private schools were set up for white children. Black children went to churches, and I guess they still had black schools. But, yeah, some serious craziness. And... Yeah, so a little memorial dedicated to that. Okay, so there's the cupola up there. All right, and uh, yeah, I need to go to that museum to find out more. Yeah, like I say, closing of public schools in our county, 1959 to 1964, that's crazy. My parents actually knew some people who were in school who were growing up at the time. They actually had to move out of the county to go to school. Yeah, pretty cool looking building right there. A uh, full moon up there. Oh, all right, so. Yeah. Old Baptist church right here, this uh, cornerstone. Yeah, again, 1836. Uh, what does that say? Built 1856 and rebuilt 1913. So cool, kind of mansard, kind of little, kind of tower on the side, I guess. Back, back there. Okay, so yeah, today is actually Sunday, so I'll have service uh, pretty soon. across uh, here this says RJ Martin I wonder what this was and they do have a walking tour of Farmville I know I say it all the time but I I'm gonna do it uh, here down the road so a couple little urns on the left and right on top of the little rosette design pretty cool oh and that says 1925 right in the middle there All right guys, just a quick little video. Like I say, just wanted to show off the courthouse. So 
Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. As always, like and subscribe. See y'all next one.